In this video I'm going to look at some problems involving shading regions in sets. I've done another video introducing what all the set notation means. So here I'm just going to go and have a look and say if we've got a set A and a set B, now these uh, you know, I'm thinking of as having elements in them. I haven't actually written out all the elements here but they, they contain things, they might be numbers, they might be something else, and we've categorized these things as A and B and we've got some universal set uh, on the outside here. Um, you know, how can I represent things like, firstly, well, what about A and B? We knew that A and B, or A intersect me, B, means things that are both in A and in B. So A and B would be this region here. It would just consist of all of the elements that we'd end up putting in here, because they're both in A uh, and are also in B. Now what about A union B, or A or B, so this means anything that's in either A or B, or possibly both. So A union B would be everything that's in A, everything that's in B, right? it's anything apart from in the outside. So it's actually, you know, we can often write these things down in other ways as well. So I could say actually it's the same as saying, what about taking the things that are in not A and not B, that would be everything outside of here, and saying it's not that. You've actually got two different ways of writing the same set here, which is often true. Uh, in set notation. So that's, uh, anyway, these are the two most important uh, ones, which is uh, A intersect B, it looks like that, and A union B. People sometimes find this next one slightly confusing, which is just the set not A, how to how to shade that, because it actually gets a bit confused with the role of B in here, but this has nothing to do with B, so things that are not in A are just anything that's not in A, so it doesn't really matter about B, so it's uh, everything, it's just everything that's outside of A, just ignoring B. So it contains the things that are in B and not in A, and also the things that are not in B and not in A. Uh, and that gives us the set not A. So now we've got those basic notions, we can think of some harder examples perhaps. So what does this mean? This means not A and B. So it's got to be something that's not in A, and it, but it has to be in B. So the things that are in B uh, are, are over here, it could be in here, but it's we want also the ones that are not in A, so we can't have this part here. So this would be uh, things that are in B and not in A. What if I said A union B not? Well, so this means look at A union B. Now A union B uh, we, we had already, uh, that was this set here, and now I just want not that, so I want the opposite of that, the complement of that, so I want everything that's not in A union B. Okay, so that would be all of the things that are out here. We can come up with harder ones. So what about, this looks like a quite a complicated statement. Um, so how can we break this down? Well, I could look at the brackets first, and I could say, well, what about this? So this means A and not B, and this means not A and B. So I want to look at those sets first, and then I want the union of those. So actually anything that's in here is going to be shaded, and anything that's in here, and potentially anything in both. So um, so actually, if I just shade this one first and then shade this one and put them together, that'll give me my answer. So A and not B, that's things that are in A but are not in B. So here we go, that's this set here, a bit like one we did earlier. And in fact, the other half is exactly what we did earlier, which is not A and B. So things that are in B but are not in A. What's that bit over here? Okay. So what we've shaded here must be the union of those two sets. This is uh, something we might call exclusive OR. So it's a bit like our OR operation, but it doesn't include uh, the both parts. In the previous video I suggested you know, that set theory is a bit different to <clears throat> ordinary language. If you say, do you want to go to the theatre or do you want to go to the cinema, it would be unusual for someone simply to reply yes, meaning that they want to do both. Usually when we say OR in ordinary language, it means either go to the cinema or go to the theatre, but not both. And so this would be a way of representing that slightly more complicated um, exclusive OR notation. But remember, when we say OR in set theory, we mean the middle part as well. Now we don't have to restrict ourselves just to two sets. I could have three or more even. I've got here A, B, and C. So um, here, uh, what about this? What would this mean? A and B and C. So this would mean it would have to be in all of A, B, and C. So it's going to be in all three sets. So it would just be this central region here. We can make things more complicated with three sets. I could say something like this. What about A intersect B union C not? Okay, well, let's think about first this bit in brackets. So B union C, B 
or C would be all of this area here, including all of the overlaps, anything that's either in B or C or in both. Um, so something that's not in there, it's got to be not in that union, so it can't be in B or C. Uh, and I want to intersect that with A, so it has to be in A, but it can't be in B or C. So here, I would get this region here. Yes, things that are in A, but not in B or C. You might need to think about some of these for a little while. What about A union not B and C? So here, I want things that are in C and not B. So things that are in C and not B, so that's in C, but it can't be in B. So I think these things are in C and not B, and these things are also in C and not B. So it's like I'm kind of just ignoring A for a second. Uh, that would be C and not B. And I want to take that union with A, so I can take all of that stuff and also anything that's in A. So things that are in A will be over here uh, and over here. So uh, all of the things here would be either in A or they're in B and not C. Remember, union includes both things that are in A uh, and the things that are in here. So it doesn't matter that some of the things we've got here are, are in uh, are in B, because um, you know, these are included because they're in this part of the definition, even though they're in, not in this part. If it had been A intersect, then they'd have to be in both, but this is union.